Then you want to be scrubbing your hands. Inside the hand washing lab at Gojo Industries, scientist Jim Arbogast emphasizes proper hand washing techniques. Covering all the surfaces. You definitely want to get your fingertips, your finger pads. He recommends washing for 20 seconds. And drying the hands? That's important too. Wet hands transmit germs better than dry hands. Or, he says, use an alcohol-based sanitizer like Purell to kill germs. Once you rubbed it in, it's still killing when you walk to, your, to whatever you're going to do next. Either hygiene option can erase a potential virus, and it's an important practice if you come into contact with someone who may be sick. Jim stressed the Ebola virus is mostly transmitted through bodily fluids, direct contact with an infected person. But he says if someone with the disease sneezed in your home, you could be at risk. A virus like Ebola, because it's an envelope virus, scientifically, we would, we would suspect it would die relatively quickly couple hours, but you can still get exposed in a couple hours. Jim says people should be more concerned about using wipes to clean countertops and washing their hands frequently to protect themselves from the flu, which kills thousands each year. If you have someone that you're around that, that you're worried about in terms of their illness, you want to be wiping um, kitchen surfaces, surfaces they touch after they go to the bathroom. So how do you know when clean is clean enough? You know clean is clean is when it, when it looks clean. Uh, you can't see germs, right? So you have to, you just have to clean the surfaces and don't leave any pools or dirty substances around. On your side in Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.